vision is to speed up the next billion Web3 user adoption uh, together with the Sri Foundation. The first time I saw, you know, Sri, uh, that, that water logo, it immediately reminded me of an ancient Chinese wisdom. It's called, the highest good is like water, nourishing all things and not contending with them. That's a really, you know, strong, powerful message from five thousand years ago, and now we're learning it, and turbos adopt the same philosophy. We want to grow with the ecosystem, make the whole ecosystem bigger, grow faster, rather than competing with everyone. That's our general philosophy. All right, so turbos is the aggregator. The first approach we took is smart routing. Now, thanks to uh, Michael from uh, MoveX, who has shown a lot of diagrams to make my life easier, so I don't want to uh, go through those again. So basically, we think that we have a clock system like Deepbook and AMM plus centralized exchanges. That forms like an internal liquidity cycle for any token. Now, um, the smart routing will work from high level is like assuming you are trading between A and B. You go through our um, smart routing system, okay, this order, 70% of the volume will be fulfilled by a clock, and the rest, 30% 30, 30 will be fulfilled by A and M, just to make sure the execution price is the best for users, right? So, but there are other pairs that uh, they can't afford to be listed on clock because you know market making is expensive and liquidity is expensive. For many small projects, they only raise you know uh, the fund barely to cover uh, development. It's uh, very. Um, difficult for them to provide liquidity on both cloud and AMM side. So sometimes in that case, the smart routing will just go to several AMMs and fulfill the order without a clock. Now, I want to add a note here. Um, it's actually not good for projects to split liquidity to different pools. From a economic standpoint, it's always the best to set, concentrate liquidity in one end. That's the best. But even though we want to support all projects, if they have to support liquidity on multiple places, we'll use smart routing, yeah. at least to help them a bit. But that's just a side note. Um, the second aspect of Turbo's aggregator is to think out of that internal liquidity circle. We bring derivatives into the three ecosystem. So derivative, why does it bring external liquidity? We just look the history, right? So on Arbitron, since July 2022, this is data from DeFi Lama, their TBL boosted by 300% simply because one protocol called GMX, and that introduced a really um, nice way to trade perpetual um, on arbitrage. And then uh, more DeFi protocols build on top of that perpetual, and that further boosts the TBL on the arbitrage fee. Now those are all external money that gets pulled into arbitrage. We want to enable that in three as well. So rather than you know, competing liquidity in the east internal circle want to bring external liquidity. Um, our perpetual platform is live on the DevNet. So you can see here is just a, a simple demonstration of perpetual, right? You can use USDC to long or short Bitcoin and you will see your position on our front end. Like what's your enterprise, your um, current market price from uh, in-house Oracle we built, and the liquidation price, when will you will be liquidated, um, or fully all the data are shown on the website. Um, 
So the third piece we want to bring into the 3D consistent is users. I said, I want to speed up user adoption. So smart adoption is a term now. Not smart routing is not enough. We also need smart adoption to bring users from outside into the street system, provide external liquidity. I mean, user, retail users are really powerful, right? We want to, in, they show great support to projects they want to support, and sometimes they provide liquidity to, to help uh, with the project they support. Now, but there's a tricky thing. DeFi is difficult, all right? So it's not user friendly for many retail users. So what we want to do is um, from the education and data visibility side to uh, bridge new users. Now, let me give you an example. The education side, many people don't know uh, what compassion is, right? How to provide liquidity on AMMs. So we'll put resources on the education side to uh, help users get more familiar with uh, DeFi products. Also, uh, educational elements will be embedded in our product. You just don't have to go somewhere else to understand all of their terms. Um, data visibility, this thing is interesting. Uh, I was talking to Paul from Capsule about possibility that, you know, here is a position, like a perpetual uh, position. It's a like an object. So wouldn't it be cool that if a user has a wallet, right? Instead of coming to our site, see if they open up that wallet, you can see the positions in your wallet as a kind of metadata, right? Uh, there are a lot of discussions going on, even directly showing from the wallet. I, I imagine there will be many retailer users um, they think they just want to interact with wallet and use wallet as an action point to do the trading. So rather than coming to our side, we want to enable users to do this uh, in their wallet directly and see all those metadata. Right now, this thing doesn't exist anywhere. So it's something new and we would like to explore. Uh, for example, we can put uh, the liquidation price and margin price uh, into metadata, and then that's clearly visible from uh, the wallet. Um, another thing about um, data visibility is I have you know, a lot of friends from the Web2 space, and the first time they try a DeFi product, well, first time they, um, I haven't started trading yet, and I'm already paying 150 bucks for those signatures. Well, uh, uh, that's not going to happen on street. Um, but another thing is, they don't know how, 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 how well they do, right? The, is their trading successful? Are they making money or losing money um, on certain DeFi protocols? That kind of data, even though everybody says, you know, uh, all the data is on blockchain, it's transparent, it's really, really difficult to extract the meaningful data, the data the users really want, um, and show it in a, you know, uh, in a straightforward uh, way. So we're talking to node providers and to generate um, useful analytics and make it accessible to users. So users can feel very comfortable trading our platform. So. That's about it, those three sectors to make DeFi easier and accessible to the next billion. Thank you.